today's topic is going to be cervical disc herniations. We're gonna be talking about the top seven vertebrae. What is actually happening when a cervical disc herniates? Part of the inner disc called the nucleus pulposus, which acts as a shock absorber for the spine, gets displaced posteriorly and compressed on some of the neural structures. Typically, how will a patient present to the office when they're complaining of symptoms consistent with a cervical disc herniation? The symptoms can vary from bad neck pain to arm pain. Even sometimes they can have weakness or even numbness going down their arms. Very often, one of the telltale signs that they're suffering from a cervical disc herniation is when you ask the patients if they find relief by putting their arm over their head. It's almost pathognomonic for a cervical disc herniation. Nerves do not like to get compressed. Cervical disc surgery for you is probably the most rewarding procedure you do. Yeah, it's my, my favorite surgery.